what's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out to our little road trip. My name is Natasha, one half of the Traveling Foxes. I feel like we've packed a lot for a weekend away. We are driving all the way to Montenegro. Main reason is actually to attend a friend's wedding. And I'm so excited because I've never been to Montenegro. It's a great way also to explore the Balkan region. Now, he is going to be the driver at least at least for the next two hours. So we are coming from Zagreb, Croatia, where we are um, staying at the moment. And it's going to be, how many hours? It's going to be about four hour journey to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. I had to practice that many times. I think it's I think it's Herzegovina. Herzegovina. I think I think, I think it's we had to um, research earlier of well, we had to research just now if I could actually enter Bosnia and Montenegro uh, because obviously I, I, I am a Filipino citizen and with that amazing privilege as a Filipino citizen uh, I always have to double check visa requirements but because I have a Dutch residence permit which it which basically gives me freedom to travel around Schengen area then I am safe let's hope once we get to the border um, and I present my Philippine passport if they have any questions or whatnot over pit stop to get some food we are still in Croatia um, two more hours till we reach Bosnia Ooh. unfortunately they only accepted cash and I didn't have any cash with me only had coins so I just got a croissant. Probably we go to the next stop as I'm quite hungry and I need my coffee for this journey. We are gonna be switching sides now. I'm going to be driving the next two hours until we reach Bosnia. Our final destination is Montenegro, but we decided to stop over Bosnia because we do have a friend who has a house there and we were invited to come and visit them. I have never been to Bosnia, but I have heard so many great things about this place, especially the Mostar Bridge. Definitely still on my bucket list to go. But for this journey, we do not really have time to explore those cities or those towns. So we're going to go on an off the beaten path towards Bosnia. Let's go. Gorgeous. Miles and miles of 
lots of mountains, it's so lush, and because we're so close to the coast, sometimes you can get a glimpse of the ocean. Beep it, Tash, come on. Some cars are so slow in the highway. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just passed by this beautiful lake amazing amazing views stunning views we just made it to our friend's house let's see her you know one thing that I've noticed here immediately drivers here are quite impatient I was going through the winding roads speed limit was like 60 and the cars just tried to zoom past me crazy Hi. take our phone off her. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Your lake is so nice. Restaurant, I am starving really. <laughs> Just exploring a little bit the area. Nice to be surrounded by nature. Thing to wake up with, sound of birds. Thank you so much for the hospitality. It's time to go. Time to head back. Who's gonna drive this time? You wanna all? Same person that always drives. <sighs>
super dirty, so it's time for a little car wash. We got some local coins. Our shiny new car. Isn't it he handsome? Can we just appreciate for one second how clean the window looks now? <laughs> Look at this spotless, <laughs> much better view. about 100 kilometers to Montenegro uh, to our final destination but actually ooh, cows <laughs> we're actually not too far from the border of Montenegro probably around maybe 20 kilometers or less and to the right of us is Dubrovnik um, so really really close to the coast probably about 20 kilometers away and that is Croatia. And we are, our final destination is in Kotor, Montenegro, where the destination wedding will be. See those mountains over there? Those mountains over there? Yeah. That's probably Montenegro. Montenegro. Now we are crossing and got my passport and my Dutch residency permit ready. Let's see. Crossing fingers. It's gonna be. It's gonna go smoothly. Good time. Uh, no. Deported. Deported. Where do I go? Back. Back to Bosnia. <laughs> People are coming into Bosnia. See, there is a long, long line. You will probably see it later. But it's a long line. <laughs> Look at that queue over there. Oh, big queue. Ah! We got him! We got him! Natasha was so close to being turned back. Oof. 
didn't ask for a visa to go into Montenegro, so that's good. And his passport is actually a British passport, so you guys are non EU anymore, so you're basically in the same level as me. Pretty much. <laughs> but they didn't ask for his um, Dutch uh, residency permit, so all good, all smooth. Um, and welcome to Montenegro! Yay! What's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome and you're so scared you'll get it wrong Have a good time but a worry after Petrified will they think I'm awkward When your brain's wired for disaster we just made it to the Montenegro coast and the scenery here is absolutely stunning. <laughs> After driving many hours on the road, um, surrounded by greenery, mountains, it's nice to finally get a glimpse of the sea. Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bitter taste. Something unexpected happens, you can't let it go Caught up in your own distractions You already know that you're gonna think about this for Here's thank you for driving To believe the lies that you tell yourself That you tell yourself So we made it here in Montenegro We are just about to start the wedding festivities and we're so excited thank you so much for joining this little road trip of ours so I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos about Montenegro probably um, a little tour of our beautiful hotel it's really really beautiful here and also a little exploration of Kotor so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you can get updated on our next travel videos for now see you soon Good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even